Hopey Price, congratulations. New weight, new title for the collection as well. How would you assess the fight we've just seen and your performance through seven rounds tonight as well? A good performance, you know, uh, the exact fight I needed at this stage of my career, you know, um, moving up to featherweight, Dave didn't want me just going in with anyone. I've gone in with a, a guy who's boxed for the British and the Commonwealth title in this new weight in his previous fight. And um, like you say, a couple of people have stopped him before, but I've done something better. I've made him quit on the stool, you know. I'd, I'd have knocked him out in the next round if, if he'd have come out for the next round. And to obviously all the other, the, the lads who's got the titles and the boys who's boxed him before, I've done him quicker. You said you had the bit between your teeth to look good and get that stoppage tonight. Yeah. Was there pressure on your on your shoulders tonight, Hopi? Perhaps unfair pressure, but pressure nonetheless. Yeah, of course, you know, I think obviously coming off the previous performance, I went in there, which people forget, with a, a world title challenger. And just because I sort of cruised and won easy and didn't get it, obviously everyone was like, oh, it was a little bit boring. So a little bit of pressure from myself, a little bit of pressure from everyone else, ringside, from obviously the promotions, from, from everybody really, just to go out there and really make a statement. But obviously I believed I'd done that. In what way did you feel yourself getting to James Beach Jr. tonight? Hope you threw those seven rounds, breaking him down. Just talk us through it. I started breaking him down. I started putting my shots together a little bit more. And obviously, I was just listening to, listening to what my coach was telling me and trying to follow that. And um, obviously, I come away from a little bit at times, but that all comes with experience, you know. Obviously, this is my 11th fight. I've picked up three belts in 11 fights, and everyone's in this big mad rush. But like you say, I've just turned 23. I keep winning, I keep getting better, and I keep taking these guys out in style. And like you say, he was pulled out of the fight uh, by the ref, the corner at the end of that seventh round, but you believe it, it would have been over in the following round. Was it the right decision? Yeah, 100%. You know, I believe it. I took him out in the next round. And uh, as we say, as I said, gypsy style, we're not allowed to give in. So obviously, he couldn't have still. And that's what, that's what gypsy style means. On your way to the dressing room, just after the fight there, Eddie was having a conversation with you. Can you tell us what he was saying there, Hopi? Yeah, just about how I went through the gears. How, um, obviously, when I put my hands together, I was spiteful and I was impressive. And obviously just how he wanted me to do it a little bit earlier. He believes I could uh, put, put the shots together a little bit earlier, which is, uh, as a promoter, they're always going to be a little bit critical. I want to see that big knockout shot, but I believe what I'm doing, what my coach is telling me to do, I'll just keep listening. And obviously that's going to make me into an elite level fighter rather than someone who's just going to keep knocking everyone out in one or two rounds. Finally get to the top, and then once it goes past a few rounds, it's going to start getting sticky. I'm going to know what to do when I'm putting them situations later on in the fight. Talking about going through the gears, you look fresher all week. You certainly look fresher at the weigh-in. Having those extra four pounds, how did you feel within yourself in the ring tonight as well? Yeah, a lot better, you know, up at this new weight. Like I said, it wasn't just a thing of, uh, of struggling to make the weight. It was just a decision from Dave, from uh, Danny Wilson, uh, Lee Ricards, my nutritionist, and all the guys at Boxing Science. And like you say, I feel like I've, I've put the weight on properly you know I feel a lot stronger and obviously this was only a, a couple of week camp six weeks so I imagine what I'm like for the, the next camp when I really build into a proper featherweight you, you're only going to see the best of me. Well, let's grab a word with Dave Caldwell. Dave you want to stand beside Hopi as well there that mic will pick you up. Um, it's Dave. a good side by the way. <laughs> Dave I know you weren't too bothered about the entertainment factor criticism that Hopi perhaps received last time out in terms of answering questions can you be happy with what you saw in there tonight? I would say that for your first fight in a new division um, to go in against a guy that just fought for the British and Commonwealth titles and to do the job that they did, you know, bang on, absolutely perfect, you know. Um, I understand people want to see him go out there and crash bang ball up and get rid of guys in a couple of rounds, but how many, of the, how many prospects, when they do that, as they're coming through, when they're into the real fights, international, top international world title eliminators, world title fights, they get found out, you know. I'm developing as a fighter, and I want I want the development because I believe in the talent, the talent of Blair. Even that tonight, still not as good as what you've seen, what what I've seen in the gym. He knows that himself. But it was it was an impressive performance against a proper opponent who's been at that level. So, you know, there's more to come, and th this is the reason why when I say it, I'm not wanting to just like rush him and let him off the leash yet. I said that this year was this year for, for fights like that. It's for us to be a little bit critical over him and say, well, you could have done that better, you could have done that better. Because these are learning fights and that's how you learn. And so it's going to add to him, make him a better fighter, because next time he knows, right, I need to do this, I can do that. And that's what, what, that's what you get. A question for both of you heading into the second half of the year. Uh, what's next in, in the minds and the eyes of both of you? Um, I want another fight at, at this level, you know. Um, we'll see. I mean, what is that? There's... If Collins beats uh, Raza Ramza, Collins is a southpaw, so I'd like him to fight a southpaw next. Jack Bateson's from Leeds, he's a southpaw. So I, you know that's a good fight, a good, again, quality fight where he's not gonna have it his own way. You know? Again, he's, 
Beach has fought for British and Cornwall tiles and other tiles before him. But how many times did he actually catch him? How many times did? And it's not like he's running around the ring. He's not. He's not bouncing around. You know, how many times was he able to land these power punches? You know, this is a good, good boxer, a very intelligent boxer, and he's getting as he's getting older and he's getting more experience. He's getting a bit more spider by him. And by the time you know he's, he's fighting for the British title, he'll take these guys out. You feel we're just scratching the surface still? Hope of you. 100%. You know, this is like I say, this has been me new fight in a new weight division. And like I say, I'm stunned in front of him. I was taking my time a little bit, but like I say, I still did him quicker than all these other guys. You know, so. As he said there, Collins is fighting Raz Amza, who obviously James Beach is both boxers, beat one and he lost to one. I believe they're fighting the end of August. Hopefully Eddie can get me out in September. If I fight at Southpaw, if I don't, and then I'll fight the winner of that, no problem, December time. That's perfect year for me. Final message for your support and, and all your fans as well tonight, yeah, I hope you. you know, big thank you to everyone coming out from Leeds, like I say, and from everywhere else. They always come support me wherever I go. A big shout out to all my sponsors and obviously all my team, my dad, my brother. Dave, for everyone who's, who's helped me, and obviously thanks to you guys as well at Matchroom. OP Dave, congratulations to both of you. Always a pleasure working with a pair of you. Well done. Thank you.